No words. No words. No words at all. Holy shit, that's fucking weird. What's up, people? Hey, 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 hey. I don't know what the fuck that was, but how are we doing, folks? How's that natural lighting going on? Good, good, good. Everyone, it is live stream two out of three because if you guys caught up, well, I just made it public. I made last night's live stream was unlisted because I put up a video and I wanted, you know, guys, this is the way YouTube works. You know, if you put up a video and you do a live stream at the same time, people are probably not going to, um, yeah, it's just, it's just the way things work. But you guys are tuning in right now, 53 of you. And this is something I did not plan at all. No plans, uh, well, other than letting you guys know last night that I was going to do this. That light though, that's, that's natural lighting. Okay, much better, much better, much better. Uh, R. Connolly says, eat, I say goodbye. Because that's going to be coming very soon. Yeah, guys, it's just, it's just the way things are going. I first wanna let you guys know, I already let you guys know last night, I showed you guys the haul, I guess I can say. Uh, it was 10, like 10 to 15% of what I actually have to buy. Bought more stuff today, which I'm gonna show you guys in just a second here. But guys, I wanna let you know that today, I found out that somebody made an Instagram page for Harold. Literally, for the fucking monkey that is on my wall, somebody made an Instagram for him. Are you fucking kidding me? Literally, I was just like, dude, that is insane. Harold is slightly creeped out. Uh, I can't say that I'm creeped out. I can say that I'm very, um, I, I, you know what? I don't really have an opinion. I don't. I, I, I really think that the attention around Harold, I wish I had that attention. I wish I had that same attention given to me. You know, I, I envy him. I envy him and his banana, but he is a dick. So uh, one day I'll get to that level. Anything is possible. Cynthia Garcia says anything is possible. Uh, so right now everybody because I Can I can do that shit? I'm gonna leave him right there. I'm gonna open this up right now Because it feels so awkward when I don't have um, Let's just say visibility of my stream via a Laptop so I'm doing that right now Shout out to my GoPro right now you guys are, you guys are in a, a prime seat right now, let me just say. So this is two out of three, everybody. Now, tomorrow will be more grocery shopping, but I want to let you guys know the most highly anticipated thing from today that we purchased. People, I could just leave this here during the entire live stream. Then people are gonna be like, dude, you're eating your, you started the 60,000 calorie challenge, bro? Holy fuck. I know, dude, I know. Huh, I was watching some Natarita, some freak eating late, or earlier today. I had an insane ride today, people. I'm actually loving it. Um, I'm going to be putting up my last vlog, everybody. Uh, those cookies look bomb, indeed, they do. Uh, I'm putting up my last, I'm trying to get out a video to you guys, basically going over my method behind um, the entire, I guess, this is, this is annoying, you know, uh, go right there, the entire, I guess, way that I take this, take this t type of challenge, uh, the way I do things, I don't know why this is here, I'm getting bored now. I get very, very easily agitated. Um, so, yeah, that, that video will be up very, hopefully soon, but uh, Chris Smith says Subway sucks. Indeed, Chris, Subway does suck very much. I wanna let you guys know that not only am I showing you this as one of my favorites for the upcoming challenge, but I'm going to let you guys know the big challenge that I'm going to do. I'm basically going to, today was a very big planning day for me. And um, there were a lot of suggestions about what type of challenge I should actually do. Um, Julie 
Yates says, I'm ready to see you eat more sushi. Unfortunately, Julie, I don't have any plans to eat sushi during the challenge, but I will definitely be eating sushi, uh, hopefully after the challenge, a few weeks later if I'm still alive. Um, I eat sushi on a regular, so I don't really feel like a, a need to, to do that. Um, but anyways, guys, so I'm going to be revealing, I guess, the... There are two major challenges that I'm going to be, actually three major challenges that I'm going to be doing during this. So during the entire day of um, glory, let's just put it that way, the 60 hours of glory, um, I like to make, I'm going to be doing a lot of, I guess, uh, themed, not themed challenges, but basically guys, when you're taking in calories of this amount, you have to make, if you want to, you, if you want to, beat your or get to your goal um you have to basically make every time that you eat it has to obviously be calorie dense so if you guys can imagine eating a thousand calories per hour for 60 hours just think about that that's absolutely insane so um obviously i'm not going to do that just because i like to have even just day-to-day -day stuff i'm not a snacker um i don't like eating food like regularly I mean I like to like eat a meal and usually I eat I'd say like a few hours later so um, yeah so basically what's gonna happen is I'm going to need to have big challenges during this this span so a lot of people have said oh do the Michael Phelps challenge do the rocks D diet challenge do the rocks cheat day challenge do uh, the Manny Pacquiao challenge do all this shit and I'm just like what do I want to do what do I want to do so uh, in a few minutes, I'll let you guys know what I am doing, but uh, I, I, you know what? I'm going to have some fun with this, guys. This is essentially going to be the biggest video for me ever, and I've, I've never planned out something as much as I have planned this out. I'm not one to plan stuff. So, um, yeah. Do you have a Chick-fil-A nearby? Bear by? <laughs> uh, yes, I have a Chick-fil-A nearby, and that's actually going to be in the challenge. It's funny you mentioned that. Eat fruit and veggies. Funny. Uh, <laughs> don't go for all the pasta and rice. It fills you up more and meat doesn't quite fill you up as much. I love when people give me advice on how to do these. Like, I've never done them before. Fuck, guys. I'm just... How do you... How do you eat food? How do you eat food? I've never done this before. Um, sorry, I'm just being a dick tonight. Like usual. Get Ben and Jerry's. I don't know, man. I fucking hate Ben and Jerry's, bro. Well, Harold... I'm on keto. I can't do... I can't do Ben and Jerry's. Sorry, guys. Doing Kitty Jenny diet. Um, what the hell are you doing? How long is this stream going? Gonna have class in 30 minutes. Well, I'd, I'd say you have time to go to class. This is, my streams are typically pretty short, usually about 30 minutes. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> yeah, bro, just an everyday occurrence. 60,000 calories just is generally what people do. Um, tea is good for you. Tea helps me go poo. That's all I, I really. That, those are my thoughts surrounding tea. Chili and spaghetti. Fuck chili. Sorry. I can't do chili. I've done a few chili contests before, and I just, I fucking hate chili. I'm sorry. It's disgusting. Uh, I'm not a fan of pasta either, but that will be in the challenge. What are you eating before the challenge? Uh, Braxton, very good question. Stay tuned for the next video that I have coming up, likely tomorrow afternoon about what I'm, I guess, my diet before the challenge and everything, my exercise before the challenge. Uh, I rode for about two and a half hours today, which is good for me because I had two complete off days from the bike. And uh, yeah, guys, load the back like kitchen. So I talk about it in my video pretty much, but basically the way I approach things like this because I'm an endurance athlete is um, my glycogen stores and everything, just because I train during, during the challenge as much as I can, um, I have to keep those pretty much topped off. So a lot of people go into things like these and they actually starve themselves and fast and all that bullshit. And I, not only do I hate that shit and I really recommend against it, but um, yeah, I just generally just don't like to do that and it's not optimal in my performance sense. So I don't do that. Um, how long does it take you to recover from these challenges? Check out any one of my recovery videos. I pretty much go into it a lot more in detail. It depends on the challenge. Uh, what about Jack in the Box? Man, I have a lot of options here. Um, Lord Vader Diet Challenge. Should I did you know right now? Uh, have you tried Burger King Mac and Cheetos? Indeed I have. I have a formal review on it, bro. Brother, um, 
We love you, Eric, with the CK, so eat a lot and don't die. Thank you. Uh, Big Smoke's order challenge. Oh, fuck, Harold. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um, I'm scared to ride a bike. Broke my arm last year, but I'm going on it this year. Shout out to you. Uh, eat the banana caramel pancakes from Denny's. No, thanks. Not a fan. I already had them. Uh, you never drink Pepsi. Someone's new to the channel. Uh, Trek Specialized or Cannondale. Hi, guys. This is just... It's like asking... Like, okay, guys. I was buying this SD card today. Because I have so much footage that I'm going to be fucking filming with all this. And before I really go into what I was going to say, guys, I have to reiterate the fact again that these are fun for you to watch. But filming them... It's a pain in the fucking ass. It really is. I'm sorry, guys. I wish I, wish I could be more... Um... Actually, no, I don't wish I could be more fake and say it's the best thing ever, bro. I'm enjoying my, enjoying my uh, cheat day, bro. It's not like that at all. Um, it's it's pretty cool to get the end result from all this. I wish I could hire somebody to edit all of my footage and uh, film my glorious stunts. Shout out to South Park in the background. <laughs> it's an epic intro. Uh, but it's just it's just not the way that they are. Um, and you guys, if you guys have been watching my channel, you guys know that I am not one to be fake and say that something isn't is what it isn't. So. Um, Yes, indeed, it is a lot of work. Uh, French Duffel Bag says, I have nightmares about my mom beating me. You're going to have a nightmare about me banning you because you are... It's like when you guys build and build and build with the creepy statements, it just, it just happens. French Duffel Bag was banned by Eric the Electric. I just, I have obviously never had power in my life, people, and the one time I get power, I just, I love abusing the shit out of it. Never had a power in my life. Uh, 30 to 40 minute va video for the finale. I don't know um, what's gonna happen with that. I, I'm ideally, I people get upset when I make videos like this that are 45 minutes to 50 minutes and then people get upset when I, uh, are, I cut my videos and they call me fake. So it's like, guys, I can't fucking win. I don't know, I don't know. Um, it's like, I, I don't know. I, not only do I not, I don't know, but I, I don't really give a fuck because it's going to be what it's going to be. Uh, anyways, as I was saying, everybody, I bought this SD card today. I have two 64 gigabyte SD cards. I was contemplating getting 128, but I decided to just go with two 64s and I have my 32 and my other one. But basically, uh, it's going to be a lot of footage and everything. But the guy at the register was like, Eric, do you like, he didn't call me Eric. He had no idea who the fuck I was, but he was like, Canon or Sony? And I go... Man, it's like asking somebody if they like apples or windows. It's all preference. It's all preference. And it's funny because we ended up talking about DSLRs and um, I told him that I'm not a photographer, I just film things for YouTube. And he's like, man, what do you do for YouTube? I'm like, bro, strictly need to, strictly need to know basis, sir. Strictly need to know basis. I will say everybody that before I reveal, I guess, what I'm going to be doing, you guys, Second live stream. Say what's up. That DSLR though. Just one of those moments. Awkward. Yeah, guys, we're filming a little, little recipe video. Uh, I will say that I had to get somebody chatted me a picture of. Okay, this is gonna sound really, really weird, but I bought this just now at Target. It's a pretty big dish. Pretty big dish, okay? You guys see that? Kind of takes up like more than half my stove. So what's gonna go in here, people? Oh, it's white because I was washing it. Um, what's gonna go in there is going to be, don't judge me, okay? Kit Kats, it's basically going to be, just imagine this, people. It's gonna, it's gonna sound disgusting slash, either, it's, it's either gonna sound disgusting or amazing. So what's gonna go in here are Kit Kats? And then on top is going to be Hershey's, and on top is going to be marshmallows, then Reese's. Then I haven't determined whether where the graham cracker crust is going to be in all this, but probably going to be Kit Kat, graham crackers, marshmallows. Then, fuck, I already, I don't even know, guys. It's just going to be insane. It's going to be called the Kit Kat Hershey's Kit Kat Reese's Casserole. 
casserole. All this shit. That, that is, well, it's not really that. That wasn't what I was going to reveal to you guys. I'm gonna tell you guys though the big challenge. After I show you guys what I came across today because I can right now. I'm a little horrified. I am a little horrified, everybody. Because Eric came across something very... Oh, shit, guys, you can't see this. Who Eric was doing a little... Oh, he, oh, oh, he's doing a little planning. Uh-oh, oh, fuck, Eric was planning my fitness, pal. Um, your level of creativity is over 9,000. Thank you, sir, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um, shout out to my moderator, Emma, that's tuning in right now. What's up? Uh, nice ears, beatbox, thank you. Um... I wonder if people recognize Eric while he's through a drive through I I'm I don't have a very distinguishable Yeah, I guess that's the right word. Distinguishable face. Um please do another spicy challenge. No, thank you. Show us. Not gonna happen, bro. That would just spoil everything. Just curious, how does lifting feel during these huge challenges? Yeah. I will I I can remember basically after I did my first 15,000 calorie challenge, which I'll show you guys here in a second, because I came across some old footage and it's making me cringe right now, a lot. Um, doing, I did the broken yoke and went and deadlifted afterwards and I looked like a stuffed pig. And I felt like one too. Come to Chicago and do a deep dish challenge. Ooh, that reminds me. Nothing you need to take notice of, hold on. I have a, I have a very big file. <laughs> in my uh guys okay no if you don't write something down you're basically going to forget it at least if you're me shout out to this right here as you can see everybody i was having a little fun with my editing today yes sometimes you can have fun so everybody, what did I come across today? You guys ready for it? Ready to cringe? Are you ready to cringe? Here we go. Oh, hold on. Um, actually still really, really hungry. Um, that was about 2,100 calories. Um, so I started off with Sonic. About to go hit the gym right now, get a few errands done. It's about, like I said, 12. That sexy ass motherfucker. Hold on, I gotta turn off my Ramstein. New Ramstein album is fucking lit right now. Um, basically, came across my 15,000 calorie footage from four years ago. If you guys remember this video, this is this is a mad throwback right now. Um, we pretty much have. Oh gosh, that face though. Um, it is kind of cringy for me because when, the more I watch this, I kind of hear my ex-girlfriend in the background and it's like, ah, I can't really listen to that shit. It's just not like what I want to listen to at all. It's like, oh, fuck me. Um, for example, like right here, I'm like awkwardly eating food and filming myself while she's just watching no, TV. Was oh, I can't fucking listen. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't listen to it. Uh, fuck. Uh, just... <laughs> Yes, exactly. That that was my fucking reaction today, people. I basically came across my old camera with my old SD card. This little fucking thing, 16 gigabytes. Ha, funny. 16 gigabytes of shit. And I put this in my computer, and then I came across shit like this. It's like, hey, bro, what's up? Uh, still doing my... Um cheat day or 10,000 calorie challenge and that was really funny Eric because you thought it was 10,000 calories and you can say that I actually have surpassed the goal um, already today so actually just finished up fourth meal and I'm at 11,000 <laughs> oh look at that number young electric right there 277 calories just serious as fuck right now. Just serious as fuck. Basically just finished a whole chicken. <laughs> Basically just finished a whole chicken. Watching this footage, this is like 480p mode right here, people. This is like not at all, like this quality right now, I can't, you can't really notice it, but the quality on this of this camera is just fucking 
terrible. And my filming is terrible. It's but who the fuck eats this? Like, could you imagine me putting this shit up on my shit, my channel right now? Like, literally, French fries, bow tie pasta with half-ass parmesan, some French fries, some chicken nuggets, and like pieces of a whole chicken. People are gonna be like, "What the fuck are you doing, bro?" Um, just <laughs> guys, this this shit is fucking hilarious, bro. <laughs> So, wait, that's 12 hours. So, Bruh. pretty tired right now. I got work really early tomorrow morning, so. Do you even focus? Do you even focus, bro? So, wait, that's 12 hours. No liquid. I've been thinning my milk with my cereal. Dude, the rules have to be really clear here, okay? Just eating fucking muffins, like, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> the next day, I'm like, hey guys, this is going to fucking work. Um, definitely look to do it again. Um, um, guys, I still have trouble. That is my ums. That's something, I guess, I don't know, I started doing that shit when I was like, I was really, really, oh, motherfucker. And then I came across this shit. Okay, so guys, I took a trip. I think it was my ex's birthday or something like that. We went to Vegas. You guys want to talk about the cr epitome of cringe right here? What's going on, guys? Hey, Eric, you guys back. What is going on? Eric, you guys again video. Fucking cringe, bro. Look at that. Look at that hipster. That hipster mode. It's Citizens Bar and Grill. What's going on, guys? Eric the Electric. And then Eric the Electric does a challenge and then sees Furious Pete and he's like, holy fuck, there's Furious Pete, bro. Furious Pete is on the wall with Eric. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm so cool. Yeah. I like making fun of myself. It's kind of amusing. Uh, and then I actually thought this was pretty funny too because I was so upset. I was so upset that the fact that I oh, went- guys, kind of pissed. It's 10.52. I was gonna go to McDonald's and get a giant breakfast, but they don't serve breakfast right now. Guess what, guys? In 2017, they serve breakfast. Unfortunately, at that point, I I was so mad. I was just so upset that I could not get my McGriddles that day. I remember being very fucking pissed. Came home, my ex was like, why are you so mad? It's your cheat day. And I'm like, because I couldn't get my goddamn McGriddles. That's why I was mad. Fuck. People don't understand. McGriddles are life. Fucking life. Um, <laughs> fucking life, people. Um, so, guys, right now, because I am leaving this up, everybody, um, I just, I feel like I've just made so many people cringe right now, including myself. Yes, Stan, I know. Stan and Kyle agree with me on South Park right now. Uh, four, four years ago was when I started to subscribe. Shout out to you. Thank you for, for supporting the channel. Um, McGriddles for life. Yeah, guys. It's really hard for me to put into words how delicious McGriddles are. <laughs> Did he give me my McWater? That's funny. <laughs> I could do a, a whole bunch of Mick jokes if I... I think we're onto something, folks. Look, this is going to be the, the Mick 60... No, it doesn't work. Um... Try to tackle the giant. Try to tackle the McGiant Pizza with Matt Stoney. Uh, Matt's busy right now, unfortunately. Uh, Justin Bieber Vivo is that? That looks like an official channel. Ch channel, bro. Um, fuck me. Damn it, people. Ugh, yeah. I hate when this happens. I hate when I forget to do shit like this. Hold on, we gotta grill again, people. And then I'm gonna reveal to you what I'm gonna be fucking doing, unfortunately. Spray, spray that damn pan. Now, if you guys, how do you guys chop your garlic? If you're like me, just like this, and your, your, your fingers smell like garlic. You can cut off the ends, but zero fucks given. Actually, I got this one pretty, I got this one off pretty clean. That sounded very dirty. Good? Cool. 
I'm not filming this, but no shit's given. Alright. Garlic, just like McGriddles, is life. See that see that the clean cut right there? Woo! That clean cut though. Yeah. Brown chicka. Wow wow. You guys are just watching a live stream of some white boy cutting garlic. What are you doing with your life? Go outside. <laughs> guys, it's in, it's very important to start every dish with garlic. Well, everything you're cooking in the pan, you start with garlic. If you're not, you're doing something wrong. Just like that. And then after you do this, you get your muscles. What are you talking about muscles, Eric? Bro, this is not what you eat on a 60,000 calorie cheat day, okay? I'm unsubscribing. See? Muscles. Will they get me the gains, Eric? Lord of gains? Will they grant me gains? Dude, that's what the Live Fit tank is for. Um... Bro. Eric, do you even do this right? Man. Damn. The way I do my shit. That's not the way I do my shit, but you guys get it. Okay, everybody. Well, this simmers up. Oh gosh, I'm so I'm not really that excited to try these. I'm gonna say right now, but I mean, they're cinnamon. I mean, it's just gonna taste like cinnamon toast crunch. I I intentionally saved these from the raw fruit and vegetable challenge. These date rolls, date nut coconut rolls. And then these are fucking fire. Oh my lord Jesus, these are amazing. Whew. How is the cereal milk? The challenge hasn't started yet, sir. I saw I'll let you know, assuming I'm still alive. Firework Oreos. I've heard I've heard very mixed reviews about these guys. But um I'm exploding some I'm exploding. I'm expecting some fireworks to explode in my mouth. That was so freaking cringeworthy. Um, yeah. Damn, dude. I just look like garbage right now. I need to take a shower. Um, that being said, everybody, I determined that for the challenge that I'm going to be doing, damn it. Why does this fucking always do this whenever I want suspense to build? Um, it was between the Manny Pacquiao challenge, the the mountain challenge, the guy from Game of Thrones, which is pretty funny. I actually always liked watching that. Or Big Smokes challenge. I've already I already have one very famous challenge already lined up that I'm not going to tell you guys about. But I'm going to be doing. Big Smokes Challenge from Grand Theft Auto. That's it, people. It's actually a pretty small challenge, not gonna lie, but I, uh, I'm i gonna be adding a little twist to it. Matt Stoney did it was around 9,000 calories, but guys, come on, we need more calories. So you guys will have to stay tuned for that one. Tune into my Instagram, people, because you will see, and also Snapchat too, I give Instagram, Snapchat, the first, um, I guess, look at it. You guys know now? And you guys were tuning in to the live stream, so stay tuned tomorrow because I have the last one coming up. And you guys know when it's the last one, I got big, big things for that plan. So I'll see you guys then. Take care, everybody. Love you all. Go ride a bike.